Yo, 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 welcome back to the Feather Your Lifestyle podcast, conversations on lifestyle, passions, and hustles. My name's Chris Furlong. I'm your host, and I'm super excited to be back here having the conversation with you. Episode 76 today, and we are talking about being a champion. Are you a champion? What does a champion even mean? And we're going to kick off with a quote from Leslie Frey. On our quest for happiness, there are many things we must give up, but there are many things that we should never give up if you want to be happy. We get to define what makes us feel successful. We get to define what makes us happy. You get to make that decision. There's things that around us make us feel happy in general, but you get to decide at the end of the day how you want to live your life, and that should make you happy. Life makes us stronger. We go through life learning and living and fighting (laughs) for the things we want or that we think we want, and also for the things that we love. And through time, through experience, and all these different ups and downs, we start to realize what is important and what isn't in our own lives. So a quick question for you before we dive into this episode is, what are you fighting for? Are you fighting for yourself or are you fighting for someone else? And this is where we're going to get frank. Not everyone is going to understand your journey. And that is fine. Where you are at this point in time, you might be further behind other people, you might be ahead of many others, and you might be in the middle of when you compare to other people. But not everyone is going to understand this. And once again, you need to understand that that is okay because you need to do you. You need to follow your journey. You need to pursue your quests and what makes sense for you and what you want. And it's not in their journey to make sense of yours. It's yours and purely yours. That's that's what you get. It's your life. So focus on your journey. Focus on where you're going, what you're doing, and how you're getting there. Don't worry about the haters because the haters are always going to hate. There's always going to be people to bring you down. There's also going to be people that are going to try and spur you on for the wrong reasons, but there's going to be people there to encourage you and to embrace you and to ensure that you're going to get your best ride yet. And that's just the reality of it. One thing I do want to be very clear on though, is that we need to be realistic of when it comes to, you know, actually pursuing this happiness or pursuing our journeys. And we should not get distracted by finding happiness in side quests or quick gratifications by pleasing other people. As I said, there's people that will come along and tell you to do all these different things. There'll people be here to spur you on, maybe not in the right direction. And there will be people that will pull you along to where you want to be. At the end of the day, you need to please yourself. You need to do what you want, what you love, and you need to protect that. That is up to you. No one else is going to protect your journey. No one else is going to protect what you have created. If that's yours and you own it, that's your responsibility. So ask yourself this, are you staying true to yourself? Are you on track and remaining consistent with who you want to be? And there's a couple of things that we can ponder about to to maybe think about this in a different perspective. Have you ever had someone ask you something and you've answered with maybe because you're not too sure or you think it's too good of an opportunity to miss out on? Well, there's a quote. It's actually, I don't know who the quote's by, but don't say maybe if you want to say no. We need to learn that we need to stand up for ourselves. If we can't say yes, then it is a no, right? We need to know how to champion where we want to be. And what I mean by champion is living and speaking and leading our lives of where you want them to be. Own it, take it with conviction. And we need to be willing to thrive and build what we want. So how can we further our lifestyles? How can we further our lives? Well, we're gonna dive straight into it right now. You need to pick something that you want, identify it and write it down. Make it big, make it clear, make it evident. Now, get to know it. Understand what is it going to take? What will be the hard work? What will be required? How long is it expected to take? Understand this. Who do you need to involve? Who do you need support from? What are all these different variables? And you're not going to be able to cover all the variables, but you need to make sure you understand that if you want to earn a certain amount of money, how much money is that per day? Now, how are you going to make that much money per day? What can you do to do that? If you want to run a certain distance in a year, how are you going to do that? If you want to be getting into a university course, if you want to start a job at a certain, you know, tech company, how are you going to get in there? What is it going to take? What is required of you? Understand this. Break down the milestones. Now that you know what is required, you know how long it's going to take as well and the hard work that is going to occur. So let's set some milestones that you can check in. When should you check in? What do you need to check in against? How can you measure yourself to make sure that you are on track or behind or ahead. When should we have updates or when should we be able to reflect on the progress that we've made? 
build this into your plan, build this into your journey, understand this. That will help you, I, I guarantee you, that will help you so much when you start to break these things down into milestones. And with these milestones, you need to reflect on a regular basis. Write down how you feel, track and document the progress. The best thing that you can do is take a pin right now to show where you are. And now in six months time, drop that pin down again, take an analysis and see where you're at. And then you can see the difference between those two lines. Is it a trend up? Is it a trend just straight? Or is it a trend down? Which way are you going? Have some accountability. Tell someone you trust and who you admire and you know you draw inspiration from and someone that you know is not going to tell you what you want to hear but tell you what you need to hear have them keep you accountable it can be one or two people maybe just one but make sure that they are going to be there to keep you honest and to keep it real bonus tip understand upfront the commitment of focus and prioritization that is required what do you need to leave aside for now what can you shelve for now to come back to later what do we need to be focusing on right now to grow in this season List them out and identify them. And it's okay to shelve things for later. If you know that it's gonna take you two years to get to where you want, and then you can come back to those things, that's okay. Or if you want those things now, you need to shelve something else. Understand what they are. Once you cover this expectation, it's going to remove any false expectations later. You won't feel regret. You won't feel like you've missed out because you made the decision that no, that is not part of where you want to be in the next six months, one month, one year, two years, 10 years. You need to build that into your own timeline and expectations. Set this very, very clear to yourself and to those that it impacts also. All right, you got this. Now get out there and be a champion because as I started with, on our quest for happiness, there are many things we must give up, but there are many things that you should never give up if you want to be happy. Leslie Frey. So if you want something, you need to make it happen. You need to work towards it. You need to follow those steps that I just went through explaining how you can further your lifestyle or how you can further your life. Go through those again. If you need to go back and listen, go back and listen because these things will help you get ahead. These things will help you get to where you want to be. You're still going to have to do the work, but that framework enables you to put some things into motion to help you see what needs to happen. And it requires you to think about what needs to happen. All right, team, really do appreciate you being here. If you do have any questions, any comments or anything like that, you can reach out to me on the socials. Otherwise, if you found that this episode resonated with you and might resonate with someone else, please go ahead and share it with them. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers. Now, if you didn't know, we do have the podcast merch and this is with a key focus of enamel pins. Now, if you haven't checked these out, make sure you do because the intent of these are really just to be a small token and a reminder for you to charge on, to push on and to further your lifestyle. Uh, whether it is a gift for someone else to encourage them or maybe to inspire them, or maybe it's a way to motivate yourself, or you can simply just make a purchase to simply support the podcast, which would be greatly appreciated. We do also have some sweaters and some long tees, so make sure you check it out. Link in the description and in the show notes. Really do appreciate it. Cheers. Mm-hmm.